today's webinar topic is visualizing maps using game plot. This is Ramesh Prasad Doni, National ICT Award 2012. I am lecturer in physics at GIC Mistras Party, Dharaun, Uttarakhand. I am talking about game plot today. It's a web-based application and uh, uh, we will talk about how uh, we can plot uh, the different function using these graphics. And this is a KDE application and we will first learn what is game plot then we will find out who can use this application and why it is useful. Kmplot is a mathematical function plotter for KE desktop. You can plot different functions simultaneously and combine their function to build new function. Kmplot supports functions and parameter and different functions in polar coordinates. You may plot uh, these in high precision and with the character scale. Even you can animate all the graphics, all the plots of different functions. All teachers, a student from higher studies, even from higher and senior secondary schools, graduates, research scholar, or anybody, those who are related to sciences and mathematics, even statics, anywhere in the world, can use a uh, game plot just similar to GeoGebra, Applet, or Graph Monkey to trace graph for different functions. In short, we can say the uses and applications of game plots in different functions and parametric calculations. We can highly configure the visual settings like plot time, axis, grids, and we can animate the functions graphically. We can export the output of the functions a graph like PNG, DMP, or SVG, scalable vector graphics. We can save and load these complete uh, PNG, DMP, or SVG, or even in readable XML format. We can trace the plot using crosshair in the plot even we can show the coordinates in the status bar we can zoom and zoom in zoom out even we we can have a derivative and integral function of different plot so this is a very useful tool it supports and even it defines a different parameters and constant values used in mathematics and sciences like pi even roots values even uh, all kind of uh, like uh, we can do summation and uh, we can find the first and second derivatives and we can even show the curve tracing Using various tools for the part functions, and we can find the maxima and minima. Even we can find y value and draw the area between the function at y axis. The KDE uh, supports uh, different kind of softwares, and one of them is Kmplot. Here uh, today we are discussing here uh, more about the Kmplot, and at the same time here we will tell you how we can use the Kmplot for a different function. At the same time we will talk about the features of Kmplot. As I told you, the game path is a program to plot graphs of different function. We can find out their integrals and derivatives. The graphs can be colorized, animated, highly configurable, scalable, and can be zoomed. The feature of the tool is it can show the mathematical function. It plot different type of parties in parametric, polar, implicit, differential, and integral function. It also provides simple mathematical tool like for finding maxima and minima of a function. We can parameterize functions and visualize it by adjusting variable and by using slider or adding list values. Plot can be exported as format, different format like PNG, BMB, like that. Now, first we will talk about how to install the game plot on your Linux distribution. As we know, we do have a different kind of operating system, but here I will focus mostly on how we can install Kmplot in Linux or especially here in Ubuntu OS. So as I told you, KD application, the Kmplot, we can install it on Ubuntu. So here first I will show you how we can install and then I will talk about its basic features to show the graphics of different functions. Let's try here. Now let's explore Kmplot first from the uh, software update or we will search the Kmplot uh, from the explorer. We will go to Ubuntu store and then we will check Kmplot here like in my system it is already installed. So it, its interface will look like this because it is already installed. So we can see it here how it looks and you can see it is already created as source start. So it is very useful application and especially for graphics uh, in mathematics 
now once it is installed so we can explore its feature it will look like this its interface is like this uh, so uh, we can see how uh, it will work we will have the uh, menu bar here uh, where file we can see your option how to create new and then you can see here how to open how to open recent file and how to save how to save as how to print and uh, how to export like how to save file game plot files whatever we will create the file we can see here and now we will save it then we can see also how to take output as a print form as a hard copy or how to export uh, for the export we have a different option like png even if we will try it we will have the different option jpg pzm even uh, scalable vector uh, graphics svg uh, like same uh, we can have a uh, different kind of uh, output format we can save it here uh, now uh, we can have uh, more uh, function uh, we can go to the view window uh, where we can start to uh, see the full screen uh, how it looks like then uh, after uh, seeing that uh, graphic window we can zoom in we can zoom out and then even we can uh, see the trigonometrical functions even we can uh, see the reset view so this kind of thing we can do uh, through this cam part uh, it's very uh, friendly and useful for tracing different function even we can see the coordinate system we can change the uh, coordinate at horizontal axis uh, we can fix the minimum and maximum values at the same time we can fix the vertical axis range uh, minimum and maximum values and we can even customize the horizontal axis and red spacing uh, even uh, we can also customize uh, through the uh, equation editor km plot we can insert the constant value and we can insert the equation here so that way uh, we are changing the values and then we can see uh, the graphics window uh, the graph window is assuming the changes whatever the changes we are applying here so uh, that we can see or we can apply uh, whatever uh, that, uh, layout we want to uh, see for our graphics so this way uh, we can change the uh, or cause here and we can find out the values at the grid now uh, we can even do a different editing you know, on the graph window uh, by using cross uh, here and we can use in our tools like calculator plot area find minimum and maximum values uh, calculator can help us to calculate the functions and their values like square root sine and cosine functions like trigonometric functions we can even add the constants uh, during the graph uh, tracing so if you want to change the values in between we can uh, do this change and uh, even we can insert the constant we can insert functions uh, and we can then uh, see uh, the values of the functions are different at the same time when we can find out the area in between the graphics or curve that we can show on the graph uh, window by using a uh, different uh, kind of uh, tools even we can set uh, like i told you maximum and minimum values for the plot of graph we are using uh, by using that value we can see that uh, maximum uh, uh, better outlook of the graph which is plotted when we can see the toolbar here we can see the status bar we can configure the bar even to the keyboard we can change uh, the sorted key using a uh, plot uh, we can also change the coordinate we can change even uh, the different values of cartesian plot we can configure the plot uh, we can animate the plot by using some sorted keys or even uh, we uh, we can copy paste the values and for uh, more and more uh, user friendly uh, operation we can use uh, this uh, graphic window because we do have a very uh, good kind of option uh, to select and these uh, key uh, shortcut uh, help us uh, to uh, find out the uh, part or functions even we can configure the toolbar by selecting uh, from the available action in the left side and then we will select any one for the action and we will click uh, on any option and then we select it uh, after selecting it if we will apply it then we will have uh, all the option on the menu or status bar uh, and this will be uh, useful for us uh, to find out or even to change uh, the icon to visualize the graphics in better way or to make it more user friendly i mean to say uh, this uh, uh, different kind of actions we applying uh, for the different functions it will help us uh, to show the quality graphics and uh, using different uh, icons uh, it, it will visualize in a better way uh, because it will change the look of the output of the graph uh, plotted 
using KM plot. So we can say by using different uh, shortcut key, by applying uh, different uh, shapes of the tools, we can have the uh, output in a better way. Even we can do some general setting like we can do some change in angle, some change in numbers, change in values. Even we can change the grid style. We can change the colors. We can change uh, crosses. And we can change the polar values. A uh, lake is shown on the axis, vertical axis, the width of the axis, width of the line. Uh, even we can change the uh, uh, width between the line. Uh, even we can uh, change the thickness of the length width. We can change even color of the lines. We can change on uh, the pattern of the font. So that way uh, we can have a, a better outlook of uh, the game part interface. So uh, changing uh, the different uh, uh, windows in game plot, we can have. Uh, quality uh, output uh, looking wise and then the graphics will look appealing and it will uh, in uh, increase the interest in the student uh, to uh, see uh, the impact of the graphics in the learning so this is uh, all about of uh, the uh, game uh, plot interface uh, even we have a help tool uh, using this help tool we can have a more idea we can go to the kd.org applications which is very useful for education and by uh, clicking on the this web link we can have the uh, uh, basic uh, of uh, rather how to install a uh, KDE uh, application. One of them is game plot here. Now let's start the first hands on experience with game plot. First, we open the interface of the game plot window here, and we can see how the interface looks. As I already mentioned you uh, about the menu bar and the tool what we can use here now first we will see the create option this button shows different kind of plot artisan parametric plot polar plot implicit plot differential plot so uh, first uh, we can even configure the axis we can set the plot area we can set minimum and maximum values as per our requirement uh, we can uh, do the changes whatever we want to uh, so in the graph window uh, even we can uh, see or reset the window like we already reset it here now and now we go first the create window and first we are showing you cartesian plot so we have a function say fx function uh, which is uh, we are showing for cartesian plot we will use a cartesian function like we can have here fx or we can show in y x also so say we are uh, writing a value of f of x here uh, say any value we can type here like we do type algebraic equation so uh, we uh, we can type the value say uh, the function we will write here uh, using keyboard uh, say x uh, square say f of x is equal to x square and then we uh, do uh, write here and then enter uh, we have this uh, parabolic function here we can see uh, the graph of x of square for a function fx uh, this graph uh, we can see uh, for a parabola even uh, we can uh, do uh, something else for another graph and we can plot for any other uh, function uh, like uh, f of x, x square we have done the same way uh, we can fix a, a cross here on graph and then say again we want to create a mother function uh, say gx is equal to 0 so nothing is shown if we will change the value of gx here so this value uh, we say right here sine of uh, x and then press uh, enter uh, then we will have sign function here in the graphic window and then we can uh, uh, slide or cross here here and then we can see value even we, uh, we can see it with the help of color the green color is for sign function and blue one is for uh, this x square with the parabolic function so uh, this way uh, you have to give input uh, in the input bar for different function uh, every time you have to create a new function for different values uh, like here if we will fix a, a cross here at a point and a parabola anywhere and then if we click at this point we can see the coordinate uh, values are changing at the left side bar and th uh, that we can visualize uh, even if we see the values at a different point so uh, this is for a blue function uh, if we will uh, set it at the root line uh, or at the intersection point we will have the different values or root values so uh, this way uh, we, we can show the cartesian function uh, even uh, if you want to see the particular coordinate at a particular axis uh, like what will be the value of x and y uh, that we can uh, see even at the down uh, if we are seeing the intersection point we do have a root values the two values are uh, seen here uh, for blue function like this for parabola and the root values are for a green function if we fix or cross uh, on the green uh, 
graph we will have the values uh, root values of uh, the green function like here this for sine function the values uh, will uh, root values in a green color we will have the down uh, here uh, that even the uh, you can uh, find the both values the intersection of both curve that you can find uh, and you can see on the left side of the uh, left side of the side bar where we are writing function and their values and x and y is continuously changing as the crosshair uh, it, uh, we are changing we are placing the values uh, means we are getting automatic uh, x and y values and the root values if we are uh, changing the position of cross here so this way we can say uh, we can find out uh, the different functions uh, and uh, like a Cartesian function here we already are uh, showing you for a parabola and one like a sine wave or sine function here uh, this way uh, we can calculate uh, values and boot values now next way uh, we can move forward on the same Cartesian uh, plot and here we can see a uh, both graph and now we can try something else here uh, for the more recreation point of view and you can see uh, the, the different trigonometric function here say i'm writing here hx is equal to cos of x and then see uh, if uh, i am not writing uh, properly then it's showing some parenthesis error or some uh, missing uh, command so i have to correct it so if i will correct it then uh, it will uh, plot the graph so means uh, input must be correct you have to write the command properly so variable must be correct as you select uh, your input that output will uh, reflect so if i will write properly like i have done so we can see the value of cos x in an orange curve soon the function cos x how it looks like so we have now uh, the same uh, x is y graph we do have sin x graph uh, now we have here cos x uh, graph so these graph are of different color and visually uh, looking uh, pretty good and for the student it will help them to understand uh, how uh, when they are solving these functions they are not even able to uh, justify their learning uh, because they are just are doing or just uh, kind of rote learning they have the teacher uh, is not able to show but here you can show it uh, through the graph uh, and uh, if you change the value you will have the different look even you can hide the graph just unselect the function the parabola is gone even you can do for other function also gx or even for hx even uh, we can write here uh, in case of f of x parabola if you will write here parabola of x the equation will change and you can see uh, the graph is uh, swing same parabola of of the function is x square uh, and even uh, we can uh, do the same way for the sine wave sine function and for cos function so if uh, you can go for the uh, swing its width even you can see uh, the thickness of the length if you want to so in a broader way if you want to give some more uh, colorful impact uh, for graphics then you can change it even if you want to uh, see the name of the plot you can show the name of the plot uh, by just selecting it even again uh, you can give the name for the function also here as you have shown for parabola you can show it for uh, other also like for sine x or for cos x you have to just put your crosshair on the graph and you can uh, see the name of the graph just select it go to the advanced window and then uh, select uh, so the name of the plot and it will show you like in orange graph is uh, for cos of x here at x is equal to cos of x is a cos function which is shown in graphic window so this way uh, we can give more uh, colorful effect and uh, appealing for the student for the different graphics so now um, at the same time if we want to change some value for the parabola like i put plus one here so the parabola is shifted uh, plus one uh, ahead so this kind of thing can do if you will change anything right now if you will add it the input value the output will change so change uh, in your input uh, is changing the graph simultaneously either it is of any kind of function so that is uh, there even you can hide uh, your graph your function if you want so only one and one time for the student or you want so two then it depends on you if you want to so all you select otherwise you can uh, hide also same thing uh, if you want to change graphics if you want to combine two graphs simultaneously uh, that that will work uh, like uh, here what I am doing, I am just combining two function here f of x is equal to gx plus a parabola of uh, like x. So if we combine these two graphs, so let us see on the graph window how it looks. This this uh, uh, light uh, green color is showing uh, here that both function has combined added and the graph looks like this. So even we can uh, see and we can select uh, through the plot name uh, how uh, this both curve is added, both function is added. So this this is the best way if you uh, want to combine the function, if you want to add value or subtract the values, you can uh, do it through the graphics. Uh, 
uh, just you have to change the input by changing the input uh, you can have uh, this kind of uh, graphic window for a different function even you can delete if you select either of one and delete it or if you don't want to undo it if you will select like uh, both function you can delete it you can remove uh, this graph will be removed so uh, means that you have to select or you can uh, delete uh, uh, if you want to change you can change it if you want to add two functions simultaneously uh, you can do that way so this is the beauty of this game plot uh, you can do a lot of option in one window uh, or in the uh, same way you can plot other things uh, in the uh, next uh, graphics i will show you how you can plot for other you can uh, try some more hands on uh, for the different function uh, here like uh, we have uh, done uh, so the same thing we can do here for the functions we can uh, try zoom out and zoom in for this uh, function we have traced here like zoom out we can select the cause here on any function and then click on it so we can see how uh, it is zooming out so just you have to select the position and then you see uh, how the graph is zooming out and uh, if you, so you have to select any any graph either i'm showing here on a cost graph or the common graph so you can see how it's zooming out so continuously if you will do so you can see the uh, zoom out function and at the same time we can reciprocate it by zoom in uh, you have to do the same thing you have to select the cost here uh, at a particular graph point and then you can see uh, after zoom in the graph window is coming to its original position and even we can reset the value by using the zoom in and zoom out uh, it helps us uh, to see the if many graphs are there then in a one time we can see the features of all the graphs and their uh, close proximity when we can uh, use tool here to find out the maximum uh, value or uh, of the minimum value uh, for the different parabola sign or command function so you select the value the select the function and then check the maximum and minimum value or the graph is existing in between so like we are showing here parabola is at minus uh, 8 at x point similarly the combined value of f of x is at 8 and then f of x is equal to 65 similarly for uh, other values so we can find out the maxima and minima as well even we can use calculator uh, for calculation of uh, the different constant value at the plot if we can give any uh, kind of value then we can find out even suppose we want to insert any function uh, on the equation then we can find out the value uh, say we want to calculate cos uh, say 5 then we can just enter the value in input and now here again uh, we can do some more hands-on experience here uh, say uh, we do select some other function and then uh, we uh, we can uh, even delete these or we can create something new like suppose uh, i am writing here some more function uh, say i am writing here value of hx or uh, even you can go through the equation editor you can change the value you can put some other values like i am writing here say just a command line uh, if you will put the value you will have uh, the result of a square root of n value so uh, even here we, we can write in the form of n function here we are writing a square root of 4 so we can have a value even we can uh, write in the form of function and then we can see uh, how it will calculate the value uh, of any function whatever we will insert from the function window and uh, choose pick the value and then uh, you will uh, see uh, the value uh, of the function uh, at a particular way like uh, say you want to find square root you can calculate square root even if you want to log value you can have a log value so you can see these uh, colors like this uh, uh, violet color is showing the square root value and uh, even uh, if you will uh, keep on doing uh, uh, trying new functions uh, using that window uh, calculation window or equation editor you do have uh, different uh, values but you have to choose as per need uh, as per the uh, requirement of the graphics or whatever asked in the question you can do uh, for that so this way you, you you can try like i'm writing here for any let's say i'm writing here for a log value so for log of x or log of uh, any value you can write here and uh, if you will write uh, it uh, incorrectly it will not show any value so like here i'm writing for log of x is showing log curve or if it will not uh, swing any value it means uh, there is some error or that value doesn't exist in function so this way uh, you can insert a uh, function through the equation editor uh, and by selecting uh, these uh, function uh, putting the values at the expression window uh, then you will have the change in graphics window and you can see uh, your plot your graph how it looks like when we are changing the values so this way uh, we can have a different cartesian function and we can have variable changing their outlook is changing so uh, even we can hide whatever we have done or we can pick or select uh, to, uh, to make our uh, graphic window beautiful and uh, most uh, appealing for a student you can ask in between the questions even uh, whatever you have done you can save that 
particular uh, graph window uh, in your desktop by uh, giving the extension of uh, game plot files or even uh, you can uh, keep the name uh, as per the graph plot by you or as per you want to share with your student and you want to keep it in your uh, drive even also uh, you can uh, save the graph in other format as well uh, that even you uh, you uh, can export the graph at the desktop in the form of a png or gpc form uh, by selecting uh, the format uh, or extension you want to give it either bmb or jpz or png whatever you want uh, you can select that one and then uh, save it at your uh, desktop uh, for the future reference or uh, to share it with your student Now uh, we can uh, do some more hands-on experiences. We delete all the function, and now uh, we can create something uh, more here. We can try some more kind of plot. Like first, I'm taking here implicit plot. So let us see uh, how implicit plot look like at the graphic window. So first, select the implicit plot, and it will give you the two variable uh, in one equation, and then you will see output in graphics. Uh, here uh, you have a function like f of x y means you have the values in two parameters either x or y or, or both uh, but you will have the two variables and then you can uh, see the appearance of the uh, graph uh, here uh, say i'm writing here equation uh, x square plus uh, y square just for a circle uh, i'm writing here this equation of circle x square plus y square is equal to 25 so we can see uh, the, the circle uh, looks like this the value of x square plus y square uh, is equal to 25 so the uh, circle will look like here you can see the dimension is uh, uh, looking just like a ellipse but it is not a ellipse it is because of uh, the graphic view or the uh, graphic window is showing the kind of uh, thing is looking like a ellipse but it is not ellipse because we are giving input of a circle equation so we do have a circle here the same way if we would change the other value or we can change even the color uh, of the circle we can uh, see here even the plot name also we can show uh, by using this advanced window we can change it uh, even we can create a more uh, this implicit plot say uh, suppose we are writing here equation our different equation we can try here uh, that uh, say i'm writing again one more equation x square plus uh, say plus y square divided by say uh, 16 r is equal to 1 uh, then you can see the equation here uh, we have a ellipse look like this uh, even we can uh, change these values and we can have a different look of ellipse or even we can create something more and the more equations will more function will be appear on the uh, screen so that depends uh, what time plot and how many plot and how many functions do you have to represent uh, then uh, you can try uh, there is no limit for the experiencing uh, any kind of curve tracing uh, because you just have to give proper input and then you can have a uh, output in the graphics form like i'm trying here one more equation x squared divided by 64 plus y squared divided by 9 is equal to 1 then you can see how the ellipse is uh, looking like so means uh, it's up to you you change the value and then you can see uh, how the curve tracing uh, is appearing so uh, you may change any value uh, then you can have uh, equation of uh, parabola or you have a equation of ellipse you have the equation of circle so that all uh, can be shown here or even you can change the pattern of the outline uh, we can show the plot name also so uh, this is a very uh, a very good kind of experience of uh, even uh, 2d or even we can go for 3d uh, if we, we could have time but here uh, at least uh, up to class 12 whatever we have like circle we have ellipse we have a parabola in hyperbola that we all, all can present here uh, using the uh, cam plot so using cam plot uh, we could have our uh, the features of different functions even we can try here some uh, polar function and uh, even polar equations we have a circle here like of radius 3 so it's a pole equation and you can see the power range it is in between uh, 0 to 2 pi so that that means it is a, a pole equation I means where you are seeing your function uh, in in theta or in angle so by changing the value of angle uh, we can see how the uh, curve or how the graph will look like so suppose i am changing here from 0 to pi so we do have here half circle so this half circle is uh, showing like this if i change this pi by 2 range is up to pi by 2 is one quadrant so that this is showing uh, the curve values is changing uh, as per our input so as we will give the input for in the angle we will have the graph look like so uh, you have to be very careful in giving input 
so that you can uh, get the proper values and proper uh, function uh, looks and if, i mean to say the graph uh, look must be uh, appealing for the student and it should change as you are changing the value so as variable will change the outlook will change of the graphic so it will change the radius will increase the radius the graphic will change so changing uh, in the equation or entering the equation will do we will have the different look and uh, graphic window so uh, say we are writing here r a, a for variable and variable i am writing here r is equal to a so you can see the spiral here so how beautiful it looks this way you can see by changing the value of a variable how it's changing i'm just doubling it and see the file how it looks so this way uh, you can give more beautiful look i'm just uh, doing a by two so see uh, how this r a is changing so by changing the values any value any variable you will apply uh, then you can see how output is changing so even uh, this this can uh, give you a uh, a very uh, good kind of uh, animated view for a different function suppose i'm writing here an integral function you can see how it's behave like i'm writing r is equal to sine a you see as a circle uh, and uh, suppose i'm writing here r is equal to sine 2a you can see how it looks like like a butterfly uh, so this uh, kind of thing we can do i'm increasing 7a so you can see the 7 uh, how it's the 7 flap and this 7 flap is coming uh, even i'm adding one more function cause of let's uh, say 7a so uh, you, you look how, how the uh, graphic will change and how the plot is showing the value of sine and goes both together you see so this is the beauty of this game part uh, you can change the uh, pull up uh, equations you can change the angle by changing the angle you can see the curve facing uh, curve graphic in the outboard how beautiful it looks even we can change it uh, for any other angles i am writing here r is equal to 10a so see the graph how it looks like uh, as I'm putting graph huh? uh, so you can see other atom uh, this polar uh, coordinate is changing and how the value is changing so this is the beauty of uh, the polar uh, graph polar function so uh, you you can try um, for uh, for a different problem in a class 12 or 11 trigonometric book if you uh, see all the different function you can see uh, how it looks like i like writing here for the chord so it's just inverse of n means as the pen is changing uh, opposite the chord is changing the same i'm increasing the value of part to different five ways so see how the graph is changing how the uh, output is changing continuously i'm increasing for tangent tangent by see the like the center it looks like a star and beautiful colorful star is coming up so this is the beauty of this mathematical uh, expression visualization of the graph and different function uh, can be uh, can be our uh, taste using game plot uh, beautifully and we can even animate it and then we can share it for the student in during the assessment point of view we can give them a different curve and then we can tell them just trace the curve using game plot and even we can uh, create problem uh, and then tell them to solve it uh, by using game plot or just by seeing the image uh, or hard copy print uh, they can uh, assume uh, that how the function is looks like here at the screen and what kind of function polar function will it be that means uh, creating a different function at the uh, km plot we can have a visualization of uh, their output like i'm writing here one more equation uh, one uh, equation like 210 a plus a k and see the graph is how it looks even if, if i will change the sign and how it looks if i increase the value you see just writing here 210 a plus 2 sec a see the graph uh, if i will reverse it then you will uh, see uh, how the value will change so that uh, means by creating different polar function using our textbook problem and our teacher solving the classroom they can see uh, how this uh, change is coming how the graphics is changing and th this will help a student to uh, think critically and to get the output and they will analyze the graph then they will think differently and they they will understand exactly what is behind each function and how they, these problems can be sorted uh, and how their application uh, are in the daily life so uh, if you see the animation or different graphics that is uh, used by the different animator so this is all about uh, of these graphics uh, so this is only change in uh, the function functional value is changing output is changing so this way uh, we can uh, have beautiful use of a plot uh, for the trigonometrical function for any polar equations and that uh, that shows the color change or the line change uh, the output change uh, and the pattern change in the graphics uh, means uh, there is something uh, to be determined and uh, which is very useful uh, to understand the application of uh, mathematics curve racing uh, in day to day life so it is very uh, beautiful arrangement of the functions at so uh, it graphically uh, and it will uh, always helpful for a student in the classroom learn now we can try some more functions here so as we delete it and now we uh, again uh, go to create window and now we will try here uh, some more plot so say i'm writing here uh, for 
uh, this f of x t and f of y t so we, we are writing it just like uh, in power equation we are writing here for parametric equation also say i am writing here sin t f for x variable so say uh, t variable and cos t for y t variable so we as we enter the expression we can see it is a equation of a circle uh, it shows the sin x and cos x uh, when uh, written all together uh, the both are showing their values existing in between 0 to 2 pi that means uh, minimum or maximum range of cos and sine is in between 0 and pi so if I will change it from 2 pi to pi or minus pi so you can see how the graph is looking at the graphic window so at minus pi the graph is no more at plus pi 0 to 2 pi there is a half circle and from 0 to 2 pi is complete circle even at uh, say minus pi uh, to plus pi you will have a complete circle so because the value of cos and sine is maximum at 1 and minimum at 0 so as per the values and range uh, we can show it graphically here in the graphic window so as we did in polar uh, curve tracing the same thing you can have in parametric car tracing also uh, you can have change in uh, r there uh, same thing you do change in t and then you will have uh, the change in the graphics uh, so that way suppose i am writing here sine 2d so you see how this look like it so again i'm changing cost into 3d you see how the cost curve will change now so again means if you will continuously changing the values you can see how uh, these uh, uh, graphics are changing how it looks looking like uh, like a spring here so even you can do any here you can uh, see if i'm changing the value of cost now see the graphics how beautifully it look now see is this looking like a net if i will increase it so see uh, this kind of a 3d uh, type of impact or a visualization of the graphics we can have by changing the values of uh, polar coordinate so this way we can plot the graphics again we can try some more graphs uh, here like i'm writing some uh, functional value and for that functional value you can have uh, the output here at window say i'm adding here x square for a pebble again i'm just trying some more complex values here and then you can imagine the changes uh writing here say a k a constant or a variable here so i will write here in the both side uh f of x comma k that is equal to kx square so this k is a value of constant given to a function and then see how it uh, will change the behavior of the function uh for swing the value of k now here i will do some uh some uh, special changes here i'll select the range by putting some values and then for that i'll create a list by creating a list uh you can have uh, enter any value for k uh, say uh, you can write a value from zero uh, or you can write well one so if you will continuously give a value for the k then you can see uh, how uh, the graph is changed how the output window will change so say you just select one or zero and then enter again one then enter two then enter three then enter so you can select four or five values and uh, create a list and that list you just do okay and now see a graph uh, how many graphs of parabola are uh, appearing at the screen means as number of values of k given you can see the value of uh, parabola here so you can change the color that will give more uh, appealing view of the graph uh, means here the graph is showing uh, something unique feature and you can show the values as well of a different graph or different k all right uh, means uh, see for zero it's at the baseline for one it's a little bit up for two is up three four up so this way you can see uh, how the parabola is looking uh, for a number of uh, values uh, as k is changing uh, how the graphics are uh, changing so uh, in uh, this, this way uh, you can uh, try by creating a list or inputting a value in a table you can have a graph uh, for these values the same way we can try uh, for uh, some more uh, advanced features like suppose we want to uh, give some extreme on a minimum maximum points or we can find out the gradient value some flow of a value we can show it graphically and how beautifully it looking like that you can visualize and the student can realize yes what exactly they are doing so this way you can use the list for any function when you have a constant at the same time we can use slider also this slider is also a useful tool uh, to give an uh, impression uh, for the graph uh, for the function whatever we are choosing say suppose i'm using here a uh, slider here uh, for the function k of x square so first we will go to the view window and uh, select the uh, so slider so as we select the slider uh, then uh, we do have a window here for slider plot uh, and we can uh, choose here slider one even we can choose two three four but here we am selecting a uh, say slider one so if i am increasing the slider or decreasing the slider you can see how uh, the graph is animating how it's changing even we can change the minimum or maximum value and for that change we can see the graphics how it's changing by sliding uh, the slider we can see uh, how uh, plus to minus the parabola is shifting uh, because we change the value from minus five to plus five
So this way uh, we can uh, see how beautifully uh, the graphic window is appearing for uh, the parabola. Now even we can also animate our parabola here. Just selecting crossbar here at right click we, we can see animate and by animation uh, we can see our graph or plot here just by selecting the values uh, we can see the graphics uh, how beautifully it is uh, animated and uh, by sliding uh, the speed of the slider slow and fast we can see the play uh, on the graph and how it's appearing and how it's disappearing uh, when we are giving some uh, minimum or maximum values to the uh, plot or to the graph so this is uh, the beauty of the slider uh, to show the animation in the plot or even to change the custom range and then we can animate the graph as per need uh, or as per uh, the visualization required for the student and uh, for the different problem we can solve it and so that the student will learn faster and they will uh, understand uh, how uh, this uh, modern science uh, is uh, using this kind of pattern for the research work even for the uh, calculation work and to determine the new things uh, just to explore uh, other new ideas and you change the values uh, you will have the graph again suppose i'm right here x2 graph you see how parabola is shifted the same way if you again come to x squared the parabola is here so this way if we change the value negative value the slope will change it will in the reverse side so same thing if you will do for, for the cube graph then you will have in opposite side so these are the graphics uh, we are showing uh, the different uh, kind of variables can be used to show the uh, graphics uh, and the function in a different uh, curve on different tracing. Last, uh, we can try one more uh, graph, say Cartesian one, just for one more hands on experience for the practice. Uh, say we are writing here f of x is equal to k cos of uh, say x. Then, uh, just by hitting uh, enter, we can see a graph uh, for any value of k, we can see. Uh, how the value will look like again i'm creating a list for a value of k uh, say i'm adding a different values 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 any value uh, you can put and for that i, I just see how the cost curve is uh, looks like now so uh, here same way as we have done in previous one we are just showing you how the trigonometrical function can be visualized uh, by changing the variable and the value in input and how they uh, they will appear at the uh, screen how the graph will change so uh, at the same way uh, we can show the values and name for the plot uh, whatever the k is changed for the different uh, function so uh, even we can uh, list in earlier one we did here and at the same time we can create slider also uh, here for the cost curve or for the selected curve or the selected function let's say i'm creating a slider here for cost function how it will appear say we select slider 2 now go to the curve and uh, go to the view window and then you can see the so slider and by seeing the so slider you uh, take right mouse slider 2 and by just uh, placing the slider here and there you can see how the cost curve the peak is coming up and down you just change the range from say 0 to 8 then you can see how the peak of the cost curve is down and even uh, if we uh, do some more changes uh, then we can even animate the graph and then we can see uh, how it will appear just by putting pause here at any peak or at any point and then right click and see animate the plot and then you change the value as per your need or otherwise you direct animate the plot so you will see how it appear on the screen so you can show the behavior of the cost function to the student even you can buy sine or tan or cos any function and you can show the behavior to the student okay, actually these are the sine function cost function and how it is very useful uh, for uh, learning and how it is useful for higher studies uh, in sciences and mathematics so by changing the values in a different step maximum and minimum uh, adjustment you can see how beautifully uh, and dynamically the graph is looking like and you can say it's a very very uh, useful and uh, impactful for a student to understand their mathematics even physics uh, even sometimes chemistry or biology for creating a structure where they need uh, some mathematical function uh, like in physics we are using alternating current there we can show the sine values cos values and even in mathematics all the time we do have a stat we do have uh, even some other function we can find out their values now we can try here some more function here cartesian function and we will try here their derivative and integral value so you say i'm writing here a parabola equation f of x is equal to 3x square so this graph is on here so we can calculate its first derivative here means we will differentiate the equation so as we differentiate it its first derivative will comes like this uh, green line is coming here we can change the color so that it can be visualized properly so i'm writing in a red line is showing first derivative of the curve 
uh, or function f of x square or 3x square uh, now uh, even we can calculate second derivative by swing the second derivative you can see how the graph looks like the straight line which is parallel to x axis the green line so even we can change the color of this one also and now this is very uh, you the integral values and at different point at different limit use it uh, for different purpose uh, like for evaluation purpose of a student uh, even uh, for the animation purpose creating some artistic view of the functions uh, to display the different function we can use this game plot uh, i think it's very useful and hopefully you learn uh, many things today and if you will practice more you will animate more and uh, you will do better uh, and more better if you practice more you just try keep on hands on practicing and keep on drawing on plot you will have a beautiful experience and hopefully uh, it will be uh, useful for you your kids your student as well as for the community uh, and stakeholders looking after uh, you